Are we going to expose some of radio's deepest, darkest secrets? Um, yeah, we could do that. You want to do it now or you want to wait? We could do it now, I guess. Yeah? Yeah. Well, uh, you ever see that Fox show where they expose the magician's tricks? Mm hmm And the guy wears the mask? Mm hmm Well, we're exposing radio secrets. Exposed! Because there's a bunch of uh, jocks out there that are lazy. They don't do their own stuff. Uh, they get things sent to them. Mm hmm like scripts and, and CDs with bits on them, yeah. and then they just play them like they're their own. And make believe it's their stuff. One thing, and then, the, then there are jocks that'll just play like old comedy CDs, and yeah, yeah, and that's as creative as they get, and they think they're doing great radio stuff. Yeah, they do some kind of like you know funny five o'clock fun. Yeah, like that. Stuff. That's what a package stupid thing. Yeah, let's let's play an old George Carlin record and make yeah. believe I'm funny and and uh, creative and entertaining. Yeah, yeah. Well, regardless, at least uh, there are a few people out there that that. Just do their own stuff. Like we the, like to do that, our own stuff. We try. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, sometimes we're successful and other times we fall on our face. We know that. But, but we're not going to take a prepackaged thing and say it's, you know, ours. Right. It's terrible. Right. At least we try. Yeah, we'll give it a whirl. So with that said, um, there's a comedy service that's been, you know, trying to get us to sign up with their little service. And I, they just will not take no for an answer. First of all, because there's... I, there's no humor involved in this stuff <laughs> whatsoever. Terrible. And this comedy service is in every city in America, and they prepackage this stuff, and the morning show plays it, and it and will make believe that it's their stuff. Yeah, like they were up all night writing this, and right. recording it. It'll be like a fake commercial or a fake song. Yeah. And you sit there at home, and some people will find it funny, and then they'll and then they'll take the credit for it. Yeah. All right. Well, with that said. Um, I got the latest uh, offering from this comedy service. Now, this is how a lot of these things work. They send you a CD with one half of a little scripted bit yeah. recorded on the CD. Yeah. And then there's gaps in between that guy's part where the DJ is supposed to interact yes. with the person. So then it makes it sound more real like they came right. up with it. Because now it's the guy's voice. Oh, my God. They, they must have done this themselves. Yes. No. Right. It is uh, a ruse, right? A clever ruse. So we want to try doing some of their material on the air to show you how great it is and how funny it is. Let's see how it works. Hope I mean, this is absolutely hysterical stuff. I can't understand why we don't want to sign up with them tomorrow, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this bit's called Barney the Red Nosed Toady. I will be the announcer, and then I guess there's a Barney Fife character that is already pre-recorded and and everyone's supposed to think he's there in the studio with the mr dj guy yeah but his parts are on cd and i'm going to do the announcer part uh live that's sent out all over the country for many other bad jocks to use uh, hundreds <laughs> hundreds hundreds of stations do this and think it's funny and, and it's creative all right let's see you do it i want to see if you could pull this off all right so it's barney the red-nosed toady here we all go right. i start <clears throat> Gee, I'm really in the Christmas spirit today. I feel full of the warm feeling of... Oh, hi, hi, everybody! It's me! Oh, no, it's Barney. That's right. And I, I just had the barge in here today when I heard you talking how full of it you were. Uh, excuse me? You know, full of cheers! You're stepping on him. Oh, oh, right. And that's why I'm here, all right, to make your day a little brighter. If you know what I mean. Wink, wink. Barney, will you get to the point, please? <laughs> I'm here today to introduce you to a lovable new character who's sure to brighten this special season and many holiday seasons in the future. Uh, Barney, I don't know what you're talking I'm about. I'm getting there. Hold your reindeers. <laughs> didn't give you enough time. <laughs> All right, brother. Yes. <laughs> Great tradition of Santa Claus, Frosty, the Grinch, and all them other characters. Let me introduce you to someone sure to become an unforgettable Christmas icon. Hold on, I gotta put on my costume. You aren't supposed to talk there. Barney, <laughs> why are you putting that red rubber ball on your nose? Because now I'm the lovable and unforgettable Barney, the red nosed toady. What a fag. Barney, I mean... the red nosed toady. Loving everything you do. And if you want some wow. coffee, I will get a cup for you. Hey, that'd be great, you homo. Baby, you don't understand what you need to do. This is supposed to be funny. You yeah. will need to grease my palm if you want some coffee brew. Hey, wait a second. I thought you were the lovable, Toadie, and, and we're going to get us all coffee, but, but all you want is money. You're not as dumb as you look. <laughs> oh, my God. Now you know what it's about. Barney, the red-nosed Toadie, wants to make some cash before you tell me to get out. 
don't Barney, get out of here. All right, fine. <laughs> wow, you're a good actor. You know, this means that Barney the Red Nose Tony won't be bringing you coffee this year. You've been a naughty disc jockey. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Later, Barney. Stick that nose up your ace. So that's how a lot of those uh, radio bits work. Yeah, boy, that is just hysterically funny. Man, if I heard that on the way to work in my car, I'd be laughing so hard. I, I, I would drive off the road, Anthony. <laughs> and they don't understand. They call me every week saying, why won't you sign up for our service? Because it blows.